Hello YouTube, what is up? Commando here with a video, obviously, as you can see, on my Commando May channel. Um, it's been a long time, too long entirely. Uh, I did a little Darkstalkers unboxing, God, a few months ago, and I was like, yeah, Dragon's Crown Sorceress, I'm gonna unbox it, I'm gonna edit the video, I'm gonna upload it, fucking baller. Just didn't happen. Uh, the quality was kind of shit. The video turned out kind of bad. But I got a new phone again um, with a better camera. Hopefully, got three cameras um, to hopefully give you a special treat, a special unboxing. This is going to be a very sexy figure. It's based off of an illustration, um, which I'll show you in a bit. So, uh, without further ado, yeah, feel free to gaze your eyes upon this windowless box. <sighs> So this is a um, scaled figure. I don't know what size it is, um, which is pretty poor research on my end, but I'll have all that information in the description as always. Um, but let's get right to it. So I'm not gonna show you the, all the sides of the box. It's literally just the stripes all the way around. It's windowless, there's nothing to write home about. And this side's already untaped for some reason. Okay, cool. Uh, ba -ba. So there she is in her blister packaging. Um, hopefully you can see everything all right. So I'm going to get her out of the blister packaging and uh, then we'll show you the figure. She comes with an alternate body piece. Viewers be warned, mature content lies this way. There is nudite, tasteful nudite, figurine, plastic nudite. So if you're afraid of titties, turn away now. Run. Ass, titties. Ass and titties. Just run away. Your fears are realized. They're real. Run. Far away. Over there. Yeah, I'm going to get to it. All right, so let's start with the worst last. Uh, this is a staircase. And um, this is actually the whole figure. Um... Pretty bland, pretty poor details on this. I mean, it's it's literally just, and this is just a, a set dress, really. This isn't even the, the prime piece of the figure. But um, for the cost of the figure, this actually is a bit underwhelming. But um, I mean, I can see where they skimped on quality. The idea is hopefully that the actual figurine in, in full has the quality that we're looking for. So, you know, this aside, um, get to the rest of it so uh, here's the figure this is the base so really boring <laughs> just plastic uh, semi-transparent native didn't actually do this figure themselves uh, it's a company within native I think called rocket boy um, native has kind of been making new divisions probably to pump out more more figures like this um, to make more money as figure companies like to do lately jacking up all their prices poor quality all that fun stuff What's like a 1 8 scale these days, like 13K, 13K again, like 150, 160 Canadian dollars. That's literally double what it cost 2012. 2011, 12, when I started getting into figure collecting, it was like 80, 90 bucks, um, maybe 100 um, for a really good 1 8 scale figure from like the big three, Good Smile, Alter, Max Factory, um, and on. But oh well. This is, we'll, we'll see what, we'll, we'll see what we can see, because uh, I'm looking forward to this figure. This is, it's been delayed several times, so we'll see. So she does have a very glossy finish, um, because she, of course, is coming out of a pool. So, let's see how they did with that. Damn, okay, you know what? This does not disappoint me, so I'll give you a, a good view of that there. Um, so there's her in all of her glory. Her swimsuit, as you can see, is just popping off. Um, this is her kind of standing, the kind of front. You can tell that glossy effect, very real. Um, instead of like a, a coating, I think, on the it's the material they used. Um, by the hair, it's nice and matte, um, which is weird seeing the rest of her is so glossy and she's coming out of the pool, but I mean, 
what are we gonna do? So there she is. Um, I'll show you her other body, I guess, before I actually get to the opening of everything. So this one, the sculpt is very nice, by the way. Um, ah, so this is a totally uncovered body, um, totally naked. Very nice sculpt, very nice curves. You can even see the, uh, the scapula and the shoulder blade. Um, you know, breasts, wonderful little water drops dropping down the front of her chesticles. Um, kind of semi-toned abs and a thick ass booty. Um, my God, Japan, wow, you're the best. Okay, so I'm gonna get her on the base and then we'll do a kind of wrap up, put her closer to the camera. You guys get to see her in her full glory. Um, YouTube might demonetize or remove this video, at which point I'll probably upload it again with some tasteful, um, slight, very, very slight blurring of private areas. Private areas. Private areas. Guys, this is serious business. This is animal figures we're talking about. Actually, before I do that, <laughs> I did promise you guys the illustration. Very nice, very nice um, postcard. So do with that what you will. Um, stick it on the wall, fat vigorously. Mail it to your friend. Get a frame, put it above your bed. Praise be to booty every night. Do whatever you want, it's up to you. Um, yeah, without further ado, Again, I'm going to be putting her on the base, so stay tuned. So, as you can see, um, there she is, in all of her glory. Um, it's fairly easy to put the base on. Literally, the stairs just pop right onto the plastic, and then her foot literally just slides onto a metal pole right here, uh, with her toe resting on one of the plastic bars for the staircase. I wish they would have made these bars out of metal, um, just to really sell that effect. Um, it wouldn't have cost them too much more. And we've seen it with other figures. Um, and you wrap her hand around this bar right here. And it's uh, very easy. She feels very stable. You know, not going to fall over. Uh, doesn't look like she's going to come off. And, and she's holding it in such a way there's not going to be any paint transfer or smudging or, or anything like that. Um, yeah, overall, my first Rocket Boy figure, quality-wise, compared to native figures I've had in the past, this is slightly below, unfortunately. And... Normally I'm one to be like, boom, figures of 12 out of 10. I'd give this an eight or a nine out of 10. Um, most figures I get from native are like a 12, like for sure. Like the last one I made with that pink haired chick, boom. Fucking knocking it out of the park. Did I even upload that video? My God, how long has it been? But this is still really good. The sculpt is on point. The paint job is really nice. Everything's inside the lines. Um, the glossy effect that they used could have been better. I mean, really, really nice details. You know, the nipples, the fingernails are all painted, the ribbon and the hair is checkered up. Um, the stairs could be a little better, but um, they got her thickness right, all the curves and uh, musculature and, and all that, and how everything's distributed. Super sexy. So here's the front and kind of the right of the figure. Um, this you wouldn't want to have as a viewing angle on the back of the stairs, just really ugly. If you want to cover that up, I would recommend it. Um, that's an also an unfortunate. The, the whole thing with figures is you have a three-dimensional character that you can kind of display in any orientation. Most figures have a set orientation um, way that they look best. This one is no exception, but most are still passable. They still have details all around. This, of course, is just like un- edited video game model space. The player's not going to see it, so we don't have to model it. Except in this case, you are going to see it, and they still didn't do anything with it. So that's unfortunate. And if it sounds like I'm kind of ragging on this figure a bit, it's because I'm very critical now of the pricing and figures and all that stuff. And this was delayed four times, three times, over the course of February. February through to June. Um, so I'm being a little more critical of it. 
but I still love this figure. It's fantastic. It's I don't know how hard it is to get now. Typically, native figures sell it on pre-order because they are made to order. You might be able to find it on Amiami pre-owned somewhere down the line, but let's keep continuing. Yeah. And uh, imperfections in the skin on this gloss really, really come out, um, only if you're looking really close. But as you can see, I mean, phenomenal sculpt. The hair is really dynamic. She's got really great eyes. Really, really, I can't emphasize this thick booty enough. Like this is, it's right there. So, yeah. And there you are. What you've all been waiting for. Not a bad viewing angle as well. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna try the other body, just make sure everything works and I'll let you guys know how that goes, and then we'll get back to it. So as you can see, I got her on there, boom, with some effort. Um, her legs, um, the silver bands obviously seams that are on the legs themselves, as the body doesn't have the silver bands on them. And then they're kind of inlay grooved a bit, so that the bands kind of come up over the thigh a little bit, and then it looks like the bands are squishing the thighs, which is a good effect, and um, it hides the seams really well, because they're lines. Um, Bigger companies have, some have been really creative with hiding seams, some use simple solutions that are tried and true, simple bands around the wrist, around the arm, put on the other arm that doesn't even have a seam just to, for consistency. Um, there you have it, in all of her sexual glory, um, totally naked, this video is getting played for sure, but I don't care, you two come at me. Um, I'm here to save the sexiness. Um, the legs were a bit of a fight to get off the original body, probably because they were set in during manufacturing, probably put on by machines, uh, and then some of the residues or something seeped in from paint or whatever and got stuck. Um, but with some twisting and pulling, they fell off. They were able to go on the right leg, the long leg, actually does have a, still a bit of visual uh, seamage going on. I tried to shove it on, uh, shove it on as hard as I could, but. Um, didn't quite get the desired result. I could probably finagle with it a little more. Um, maybe even sand out the inside of the um, leg a little bit to make it go on easier, but that might affect the other body, so we'll have to see how that transpires. This arm above her head comes off, and then her head pops off really easily, actually. This arm and the head, I would say, if gravity wasn't working in their favor to keep them on, would come off a little too easy, but it's never a bad thing if you can easily change your figures um, from their different viewing styles. So. Yeah, there you have it, guys. Um, super sexy, super amazing, super thick. Great figure from uh, Rocket Boy Native. They they always never disappoint. I would say that because they they're dipping their hands in so many pots lately, um, quality seems to be taking a little bit of a little bit of a dip. Um, yeah, maybe I'll show you some of my earlier Native figures that are um, I would say better uh, in this video, but. I digress, I've, I've talked about it long enough. It's still a fantastic figure. Totally worth the price of admission, whatever I, whatever I paid, it was like um, two something or something like that. Like, not entirely sure. Um, everybody's gonna have a hobby, right? But hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Leave a like, rate, comment, subscribe. Um, tell me, are you an ass man? Um, her hair, by the way, likes to kind of fall into that crease. Um, so, maybe, I don't know, does that increase her? Sensuality? Who knows? Is there is hair fetish a thing? Who knows? If you've got it, she's got it. So there you are. Um, appreciate your views, guys. Sorry if this video went on a little longer than usual, but I'm coming back uh, not too strong. Don't have a lot of new figures on the wire, but there's this fucking fat cat woman, like one third scale, and I'm gonna open it for you guys whenever the hell I get somewhere to display it. It's sitting in a box, it's been in a box for a few months, kind of sad about it, but it's it's Prime One Studios, the thing cost me an arm and a leg, paid for it over the course of a year. It's bad, it's dope, it's gonna be sick. So I'm gonna show you guys that and hopefully one of the videos in the next year at least. I really, really want to do that video for you guys. Um, but other than that, keep it tuned to the end of the video. You're gonna get a rubber review, probably with a swimsuit body. Uh, have a little more tasteful in the vaginal booty area. You've been staying at, staring at her ass for way too long. So, Baka. Take it easy, guys. And stay tuned for a review with some music coming at you.